All right, guys, well, new information being released regarding Ravi Zacharias, the late apologist, was confirmed last month by his own ministry, RZIM, that Zacharias did, in fact, engage himself in inappropriate dealings with multiple women. And now recordings have been released of his former business partner confirming just that. We're going to talk about it. Before I go any further, guys, if you enjoy the daily content I put out for you here on YouTube, you would like to help support my channel and ministry, I recommend you go sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description right now gets you access to all the bonus content. Soon it might be all the content with the way YouTube is going lately, giving me all kinds of warnings on my content. Who knows how much longer I'm going to be here. So if you guys want to not only help support what I do, but also make sure you keep getting the content of something were to happen to me here, then I recommend you go sign up there on Patreon. Please also like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, there was an interim report that was released. Um, RZIM put this out. It came out about December 23rd, 2020, that unfortunately did in fact show that Zacharias did in fact uh, engage in these inappropriate dealings with these women. And a lot of it took place at these spas that Zacharias was a part of. He co-owned a bunch of spas with one of his business partners, um, and it had said that uh, Ravi had, in fact, you know, shown uh, things he shouldn't have been showing here to these women. Uh, and then Ravi would then go on to do things to himself. You guys can get where I'm going with this in front of these women that was inappropriate. Well, now we have new recordings that have been released. This is of Ravi's former business partner who was in with him on uh, the businesses here with these spas. And these, a lot of these recordings were done with private investigators, other investigators uh, with RZIM Ministries. Um, they were all given over to the Roy's report. Um, very detailed here. I mean, there was hours and hours of recordings here uh, with his former business partner, Sharma, talking about this. And I will put those down below in the description. You guys can check those out and listen to whichever ones you want. They'll all be labeled for you. Um, but I guess what was most telling here from this, a lot of this occurred between 2007 and 2010. And with his business partner, Sharma, talking about this, you could hear uh, just the disappointment in his voice talking about the fact that, you know, Ravi would be traveling, you know, he'd be all around the world. You know, the guy's an apologist. He's ministering. He's got this huge ministry. And, you know, Ravi would think that because he was out there on the road all the time and he was tired, this would somehow give him... Um, a good excuse to be able to do the things that he did in these massage parlors, which is totally wrong. It doesn't give him the right to do any of that at all. And he should have known better as a minister of God's word going around doing all this great work that no, that doesn't give you the right to do what you did in front of these women. Not at all. Uh, he made the women feel extremely uncomfortable. Uh, many of them ended up quitting over this. You know, it's just, it's a shame, but he goes into all the details about this, what Ravi did, and then eventually how he just had to get himself out of the massage business. He says, you know what? I put in about three hundred to $400,000 of my own money into this. I wasn't getting anything back on it. I felt uncomfortable with the way that Ravi was you know, treating these women and how uh, I was linked up with this. And so he talks about how I had to get out of this altogether because I just couldn't do it anymore. And even now... Christian radio stations and other, you know, affiliates have now dropped Zacharias uh, from their weekly program. You have American uh, Family Radio Network has dropped Zacharias. Moody Radio has made the decision to drop him as well. I think there's going to be plenty more that come out and do the same thing. And we're just actually a couple of weeks away now from the full report being released here uh, with all the allegations mounted up against Zacharias. Should be released sometime into January, into February course, when it does, uh, in fact, come out, we'll go ahead and report back to you here with whatever those findings are. All I can say is this about Zacharias. I hope that he repented of this before he passed away. Obviously, because people know he passed away in May of 2020. I hope he did that because it would be a real shame um, if he chose not to do so, you know, with his legacy and everything that he left behind. And look, RZIM, they're huge at fault here too because they covered this up. They originally said that, oh, this was not behavior that was becoming of Ravi. He could have never done something like this. 
And then they had to come out in December there and then make the statement saying that, yes, he did in fact be involved. He was involved with this, with these women, and they had to apologize. So the question is, was how long did they really know this was going on? You know, did they know about this for years? I mean, again, we're going all the way back to, you know, 2007 here with this. Uh, so it is just disappointing. And again, I hope he repented. I feel bad for all the women that were affected by him. Um, it's just another example of another big name minister that's that's falling, that has fallen um, to this type of, um, of actions. And it's really sad to see. Guys, again, check the links down there in the description for those audio recordings. You can let me know your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.